Hey, what's up? I'm Andy Glover, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to use the Replay Gain plugin for Audacity to achieve the optimal volume for your LibriVox uploads. So stick around. Let's learn. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Audacity forums and download the Replay Gain plugin. There will be a couple links down at the bottom of this post for the old version and the new version. I'll be using the old one, but the new one should be fine to follow along with this tutorial as well. So you'll want to click this link and download replaygain.ny. Next we want to navigate to our Audacity plugin directory so we can place that .ny file that we just downloaded into there. So we want to right click on our Audacity shortcut on our desktop, click Properties, and Open File Location. That'll take us into the Program Files directory for Audacity, and we can double click on the Plugin subdirectory. Next we want to copy over that Replay Gain plugin file. So if you're using Google Chrome, you can access the bottom Download Toolbar and click Show in Folder, then copy that file with a right click, and go back to the plugin directory that we opened before, right click, and paste. Alternatively, if you have both windows open, you can drag the plugin file from the downloads to the plugins folder. Once you've placed the Replay Gain plugin in the Audacity plugins directory, Go ahead and restart the program and check the effects menu for the replay gain effect. If it doesn't appear, select add remove plugins from the top of the effect menu. Scroll down and look for replay gain. Click on replay gain and choose enable and then OK. I've recorded an example audio file in Audacity so we can use replay gain to adjust the volume. So let's use Control and A to highlight the whole file. And then we'll go to Effects and Replay Gain. And then we'll click Analyze from the drop down and then OK. It says Replay Gain Level plus 5.4 dB. In the previous step, we analyzed the file and we found out that 5.4 dB is what we need to amplify it by. So let's go to Effects and Amplify and type in 5.4 and click OK. Next we need to export our audio file so we can run it through the Audio Checker app. So let's go to File, Export, Export as MP3. We'll hit Save and OK when the Metadata Tags window comes up. Finally, in the Checker app, we'll click File, Check Files, and navigate to our MP3. We'll select it and click Check Files again, and verify that the volume is in our desired range. If there's a problem with the volume of your audio file, the Checker app will tell you on the Validation tab, the volume falls outside of the target range of 86 to 92 dB. But this file is 89.1. So we're good to go. So there you go, guys. That is how to get uh, the volume correct on your LibriVox recordings. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Andy Glover, and you can check out my blog at andyglover1.wordpress.com. Uh, have fun contributing to LibriVox, and we'll see you out there. Have a good day.